Hi, Rod Farrell here, and this is part three of our e-commerce 101 blog series. Today, I want to look at how you go about choosing the right e-commerce solution for you. Often I'm asked, what is the best e-commerce solution, the best software to have on my website? Well, the answer is, there isn't a best solution. Every business is different and every business needs a different solution. So I'm going to show you how you go about analyzing your business up front so that you can get the right solution to start with, not waste a lot of money getting something that your programmer chose without really understanding your business. You see, if a, a web designer says to you, I've got the best e-commerce solution, the, the chances are, he doesn't really understand the e-commerce business and what you're going to end up with is a website that really doesn't do what you need. So how do we go about analyzing your business? So let's think about the products that we're going to sell. Are your products physical products, downloadable, or are they services? Each of these have different requirements. You also need to think about how many products are you going to sell? Do you have just a few products that can be listed one after the other on your website? Or do you need to think about how do you categorize these products to make them easier to find? If we look at the Nico website, for example, we see we have a number of categories here that we can choose from for our products. If we choose bags, we see there we have subcategories. So the bags are broken down into even more categories choosing evening bags, then takes us through to individual products. Within these individual products, if we choose one here, we will see that these products have what we call attributes, in this case, colors to choose from. So that's a way of breaking the products down into even more detail. So let's now look at your products. How many categories do you need to break your products down into to make it easy for your customers to find them. And once you do that, when they click on a category, what do you want them to see? More categories, as in example A, or do you want them to see products, as in category B? When your customer clicks on a product, do you want them to see other associated products? For example, if you're selling mobile phones, perhaps you want to display mobile phone cases uh, screen protectors and so on. Are there attributes like colors, sizes, or something else that they need to choose from? You need to know all this before you start looking at your software because not all shopping carts can actually handle multiple categories and multiple attributes. That doesn't mean that the shopping cart has anything wrong with it. It just means it's not suitable for this particular business model. So still on your physical products, here's a brief summary of the information you need to work out before you decide on what shopping cart you're going to use. Does the product have related products? Does it have attributes to be chosen from? Do you need to track stock of the product by attributes? Then we start looking at shipping. How are you going to work out the cost of shipping? Do you need to track the weight of the product or its dimensions? Are there options to be offered for shipping depending on how fast or how far it needs to go? And what destinations are you going to ship to? Do you need the shopping cart to be able to restrict the countries in which you're going to send products? If you're selling downloadable products, you need to ask some different questions. For example, how many times are you going to allow someone to download a product? Are they paying per download? Or are they paying for a subscription to allow as many downloads as they want within a given time? Will the downloads be from your website? Or are you going to email another link to them? What alternate access are you going to provide in the event that for some reason they can't download uh, the product? And finally, we come to selling services. Are you going to sell a service as a one-off payment or by subscription? 
These are the questions that you need to ask yourself before you ask about what technology you're going to use. Once you've made these decisions about how you want your business to run, then you're in a position to talk to a web developer. Hopefully, that'll be websites with purpose. You'll give us a call and we can show you the best e-commerce tools, shopping carts and so on, for your particular business requirements. So give us a call on 0414-909-759 or come to our website, www.websiteswithpurpose.com.au.